Hello, uh, another landscape done mostly with a basting brush based loosely on this oil painting I did a couple of years ago just using 425 gram Hanemuller paper still on the pad as you can see so not stretched at this time Quickly painting the sky with water, just the sky, not the whole pad. And a very light touch of cobalt blue. And then the yellow is New Gamboge, which is a very powerful yellow, so you have to be very careful with it. Quite warm yellow, so just trying to define the sun there. Putting that brush down for some reason, splashed the uh, the paper with some small spots of grey. The red I just squeezed out is the Italian Venetian red. Mixing that with the um, Alvaro's fresco grey, small amounts. Create a far hill, hillside with some trees on the ridge of the hill. A slightly stronger version of the same colour, more or less the same colour. More of the uh, Alvaro's fresco grey in it. And just trying to decide. Um, define the landscape again making the furthermost the leftmost point the highest just to frame the picture squeezing out a bit more of the grey and then deciding I need my undersea green. Seems I can't live with my, without my undersea green these days. See, I ended up with a very large blob of pure colour there, which I'm doing my best to partially put back on the uh, on the palette and partially just spread out on the page. Deciding I need the um, the trees don't need to grow any further into the sky so leaning the block so you can see a mixture of the new gamboge there with the uh, Venetian red that's also put on quite thickly and then just the mixture of the grey and the red I think you can still see how thick the green is. Just about make out how thick that is. Just trying to soften things up a wee bit with the spray bottle. Quite decide how I want the uh, the feel of that land, that stretch of land, to look. Whether it's going round the hill or down the hill. So ended up doing both. Still trying to pull that green, get that green under control. And brown matter. Seems I can't live without the brown matter these days either. Just think the contrast with the green and the red there is just uh, just wonderful. It's it is more of a red. It's called brown matter, but I tend to think of it as a red. The 
small ruling pen just to push some trunks into that group of trees. A bit too late with that bunch of trees on the left there. I'm starting to think that's more like a rain cloud. <laughs> I was hoping it's going to be a hill on the left. Every single one of these paintings I've done so far has a fence somewhere in it. So I'm not going to stop now. I do this to give a, a sense of scale for the landscape. But I also like the contrast between the, the random effects of the, the watercolour paint on, on wet paper and then small amounts of um, small areas of the painting done with a degree of precision to create some contrast and deciding one fence wasn't enough and my original intention was to carry on with the fence going towards the left but at the last minute I decided to make it go around around this hill toward back towards the right and then stringing some nylon rope between the posts we've done that in real life for miles and miles of these posts and then the last step just tying the, the post into the ground with a bit of mud just around the base. There's the finished one. Thanks for watching. See you soon.